Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindness the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly next to your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. All together, while you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of this will. We too of our crosses and trials, sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us. That he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross and the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that anyone who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. We pray for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this divino. We earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our own homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage my husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they be loved and cherish their children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace, like our own home in Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happen the reign in the entire human family. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Hell, Holy Mary, Holy Virgin conceived without sin, our Mother of Perpetual Hell, we sinners call to you, that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for all people, that we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you were, that we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepentant sin. That we may see Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. That we may strive to be true Christian by our loving concern for others. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work consensuously. 
that we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. That we may accept a responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. That we may care and protect God's creation. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Together, Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. We all experience God's perfect help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Please turn to page nine. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially altogether, grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul, so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Please stand.
the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to her cousin Elizabeth. Let us ask our Blessed Mother to intercede for our needs and for our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us bow our heads and in humility. Let us ask God's pardon and forgiveness. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who while the Blessed Virgin Mary was carrying your son in her womb, inspired her to visit Elizabeth, grant us we pray that faithful to the promptings of the Spirit, we may magnify your greatness with the Virgin Mary at all times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in His love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Sam, among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel.
Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt, leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent them away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months, then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. As I've said earlier, today is the Feast of the Visitation of Pregnant Mary to her cousin, to her cousin who was also pregnant. So could just imagine two pregnant ladies coming together. And this visitation took place in Enkerim. For those who have been to Jerusalem, this is a very popular pilgrimage site that we visit called Enkerim. And it's in Enkerim where the Blessed Virgin Mary sang the Magnificat. It says, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices with the Lord. And Enkerim is also the birthplace of John the Baptist. And Enkerim is about 4.5 miles away, west from Jerusalem. This is said this is a very popular pilgrimage site because of a very rich religious significance. And in today's scripture, it says Mary remained in Enkeri for about three months, then she returned home. <clears throat> so in this place, Mary and Elizabeth stayed together. Perhaps these two pregnant ladies, they prayed together, they comforted each, each other, they cooked, they labored, served, perhaps cried together and lived in this place. You see, Enkerim is on a high slope of a mountain, and most pilgrimage people, they struggle to go up. But in this gospel, Jesus said, Mary went in haste, nagmadalitsya, a pregnant woman climbed this place in haste. And for those who went to Enkeri, you might say, oh, it's easy. Yes, because it's paved. But during the time of Mary, it was not paved. But she went in haste. Now take note that these both women had extraordinary <coughs> stories to share. 
they share about God's action in their conceiving. Perhaps Mary said, Sumisipa na ba yung tiyan mo? Is the baby kicking in your womb? Perhaps this, I don't know, this conversation between women, pregnant women, and perhaps they shared about their faith about God. And they shared about becoming first-time mothers. And Elizabeth was already advanced in age. So they had probably, and Mary very young, perhaps she had no idea how to become pregnant. So Enkerim is a place where pilgrims visit and they like to imagine the joys and the anxieties of Mary and Elizabeth in this place. So my friends, as we celebrate the Feast of the Visitation, let us also sing the song of Mary, the Magnificat. So when you go home, don't go to sleep right away. Open your Bible in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, and you will see the Magnificat. This is the song of Mary. And let us, as we observe this feast, let us be charitable of service and of companionship with others. Let our devotion to Mary help us develop the spirit of service, because that's what Mary did. She went in haste to serve her pregnant cousin, the word serve. And the scripture said she stayed there for three months. Perhaps Mary, what do you call this in English? Naglaba. <laughs> Not the washing machine. She washed the clothes of Elizabeth. And she probably fetched food. She really served her cousin, or she labored for her pregnant uh, cousin Elizabeth. So what shall we take away of this feast of the visitation of Mary? As I've said, serve. Serve one another. Serve our church. Serve your community. You see, prayer without action is dead. It's good that you are here to attend mass and have the devotion but coming here and attending devotion without action is dead. You need to serve. I know you are all gifted in your own ways. Serve so that our church is alive. And let this be the expression of our love and devotion to our lady to serve one another. So when you go home tonight, Ask yourself, how can I serve my church, my family, and my community? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us all stand, let us present our needs. For our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may fully open its heart to God's word and proclaim it with joy to all peoples and cultures. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of nations may devise programs for building a better world in the spirit of Mary's humble service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, that through the inspiration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may intensify our efforts in creating a better social order. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we may show concern for the sick by visiting them, encouraging them, especially Jose and Vivian Bahari, Gentel Cabrera, Ernesto Baguette, Marita Santos, Vicky Pineda, Purita Tabas, Remy Salazar, Bing Carmona, 
Riley Sotelo Cadiz, Ellie Sagun, Jenny Napil, Rosario Cabrera Simangam, Lourdes Pacolina, Natividad Salve Delphine, Mary Ann Toledo, Erlinda Villegas, Maribel Arcanchar, Dick Arcanchar, Angelita Alita, Virgil Duboy, Erwin Joseph Lapas, and Aunt Elizabeth Robertson. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who have died may find in Mary a true refuge, especially Grace Alabata, Antonio Podpanopio, uh, Jerome Alcantara Jr., Ida Novales, and Maria Felicidad Aguila, and for the poor souls in purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. For the thanksgiving for the gift of life of Jose Mario Science, and thanksgiving for Amor, Senaris, let us pray to the Lord. And for our personal petitions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, we ask you to grant our needs so that we may serve you and your people who are in need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Stand and pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our offerings of this saving sacrifice be acceptable to your majesty, O Lord, as you were pleased to accept the charity of the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, 
You gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble chorus of exalted praise. Together we sing. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and all your faithful people <laughs> present here. Remember also of our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Padre Pio, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
together with Mary, we glorify God, our Father, and we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We ask you to stay our day bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who are trespassing against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer to each other Christ's peace with a smile. What you can put in your neighbors, please don't scare your neighbors. Thank you for that smile. Thank you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God.
Blessed Mother together to say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And now let us recite the Thanksgiving prayer. Together we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It is pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you we thank the eternal Father for the gift of love. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending it to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us in all creation by our death and resurrection. sense the hidden presence of Christ, so may your church rejoice to receive this sacrament, the same ever-loving Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the Mass is ended.